All right, guys, welcome. I'm going to show y'all how I make die cut stickers using my Viver 34 inch vinyl cutter. Couldn't find any videos online showing how to do this or if it was even possible when I bought it. So I'm going to show you how I'm doing it. I'm using the Sign Master software that came with it. And um, I actually uh, put them all on a page like this together I don't want to completely close off of everything and then mess it up I guess I can close here but I organized them all on the page I did the contour cut all the way around all of them and I put in a 4% outline for each of them what you want to do is you want to use the little apple icon up there the contour cutting and uh, you first get the cut using that, but then once you're ready to actually print and cut it, you're gonna cut over here to Cut Wizard. You know, click on that, and then it's gonna pop up the screen where it's gonna give you basically options to print and cut both. Without this screen, you're not gonna make it happen. So you, you can click here, you don't have to, but I'm just showing you kind of the breakdown. Um, right now it's viewing both, click here is print only it's going to show what it's going to print then it's going to show what it's going to cut only it's going to do both these operations separately it's going to print it in your whatever printer you tell it to i'm going to print it to my hp desk jet 2555e it's just a very basic printer and then i'm going to cut it on my vivor KW870D. So I, once you get it ready to print, you want to go in there and set the properties to whatever quality you should. I'm I'm gonna always use photo paper on my glossy, and then set it to best quality for the print quality. Click OK. Um, I already did all this. I already printed it. So that's the preview page. I already printed it out. And here it is all printed so when you do this when you put it into that page it's going to set these registration marks it's going to put them in there for you so when you print it you're going to it's going to come out of the inkjet printer one way probably and then you're going to load it in different way into here so what you want is this top one that has the extra box on it the other registration marks are just across here none of the other ones have the box the box is the starting point so when you load it into your machine you're going to want to load it like this so that the starting point is down here and this is real hard to do while i'm holding the camera also but you're going to basically line it up you know wherever you feel comfortable or wherever you think is lined up i have my own reference points you're going to lock it down so i'm going to do holding the camera here And then I'm gonna make try to make sure that's pretty straight because I want these to come out good. Now the only thing guys I haven't been able to figure out, and maybe one of y'all can help me figure it out, is when I'm printing this one, it has some extra lines that it's printing. I don't know if you can see it at the top of the car or on the side. It's only doing that on some of the images. I'm not sure why. Usually it cuts most of that out, so I'm not too concerned about it. But if any of y'all can chime in in the comments, let me know why it's doing that. That would be very helpful. So right now, my registration starting point's here. Obviously, my knife head is over here, so it's not a, it's not in the right spot. But it's going to tell me where it wants me to start when I press print. So I'm going to skip the print operation because I've already done that. And that's what's nice here. You can toggle between the two if you want to. I'm just going to go to cut. It's going to tell me which way to load it, and where to put the registration mark. And you see, it's going to tell me that I'm supposed to position my cutter one inch to the right and one inch below the, uh, the registration mark. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. At first I was trying to measure it and I'm not measuring it anymore. I'm just eyeballing it. So I'm going to go offline and I'm going to move it. It's already roughly an inch to the right. So I'm going an inch below roughly i'm not even gonna measure it because 
I don't know that it matters and it seems like it just takes too long. I'm going to hit origin to mark that as the origin point. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click next. It moves my paper and it tells me to go ahead and align the cutter with the top right registration mark. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go back offline again. And you see right now, it's not anywhere near it. So I'm going to move it over. And I'm going to try to get it right above it. Sorry if the video quality here is really poor. I didn't test the lighting before I did all this. I'm just going with it. Now you can use the keyboard on your computer to get this a little bit more precise and use it, move it in smaller increments. I honestly, honestly guys, I haven't figured that out yet. Uh, it's pretty close, it's not actually accurate. I wish I could figure out how to use the keyboard. Either mine's not working right or I just don't understand the instructions. I'm sure it's simple and I'm just missing it. All right, so now it's saying go to the left mark. I'm supposed to move it over to that one. I'm gonna say that's that's pretty good. Hang on. Oops. Right there. I'm gonna go with that. All right. I'm gonna click next. It's gonna tell me to go to the bottom left corner. So I'm then gonna move this the bottom left corner and I don't know why I just like to do slow movements whenever I'm moving it in this on this axis because it seems to sometimes throw it offline if it goes too fast I might not need to be doing it this slow but it's the way I'm doing it I say that's pretty good. You can push down the top of the knife here a little bit if you want to try to get it a little closer just to see, but I think that that's good. I'm going to click over here, click on next. Now it's going to say click on the right to set it on the right one. I see the page doesn't seem square because I should just be able to move it straight over, but I'm not. I have to move it back just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna set it for there. Now, when I get that last mark, I can go ahead and re, uh, reset the origin. Come over here, and then you're gonna click next. It's gonna say calibration complete, and then you can do your cut now. If you wanted to, you can do an alignment check, and it's actually gonna cut a little mark right on the horizontal part of this hash mark and this hash mark and you can see if it lines up I just go for it it's never going to be 100% accurate because there's not an optical eye built into this machine it sounds pretty rough whenever it's cutting these die cut stickers but it gets it done I might need to change my blade soon I actually think I set it this time for a perforated cut and not just a normal cut. You can set it for contour cut or perforated cut when you're doing the outline. I'm not sure if I did it correctly for a perforated cut this time, but I was trying to. Regardless, it's going to cut it one way or the other. I have 12 on this sheet. little under three inches each. Now I don't know why I haven't figured it out yet, but on some of them it seems to do two passes. 
I think that that's what, how it's supposed to do the perforated cut, but sometimes it does it even if I don't set it to that. I'm not really sure if I'm doing something wrong or if it's... I, I don't really know what's going on. But sometimes those two passes, I think this one's only going to do one pass. Yep, one pass. Alright, you need to just unlock it. And then... You can check it out. It looks like it, uh... It didn't, it actually didn't calibrate too good on this one. It still cut it within my outline. The top ones are way better. The bottom ones aren't very good. But as it goes further down, the contour gets further and further down towards the top of the car. It gets lower and lower as it goes down the page. So definitely not perfect. It's not a, a graph tech cutter with an optical eye, but it does get the job done. So I'll pull off one of these so you can see it. Let's see, I'm gonna set down the camera for a second. really sticks down on this other sheet all right so it peels right off look at that peels right off it didn't do the die cut or well, I don't think so let me see let me lift it up no I didn't it didn't go all the way through now, this is on transparent so Let's show you, give you an idea of the outline. Let's see if I stick it on here, if you can see it better. I think, yeah, you want to make sure you let the ink dry. Probably for at least five minutes before you put it in the cutter also. I'm not to say that before. And then you honestly don't want to apply it for a while because you want to make sure that the ink fully cures. So... It's transparent, it's hard to see. You have to put it really on a white background for it to look good. But, uh, there you go. My sticker. Let me know if you have any questions or can add any information to help me out.